So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky, too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Fine, I'll do it. Not that I have anything to prove. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official. Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the Insurgent Rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. Oh, vicious knee to the face. Ooh. Setting it up. Look at this inverted figure four. That's got to hurt. Oh, man. Strong kick. My goodness. Inverted atomic drop. Not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about the leg drop combo? Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. Uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. <laughs> and now gets tossed into the ring. We're about to see them. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. One step ahead of Shotzi. Soaring. She comes up empty. Takes a shot in the back. up the neck. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. She turns it right around with a counter. Shotzi might be able to start mounting something here. Maybe Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. supposed to happen. Of course it's not Cole. That's what makes it so effective. Oh my goodness. Nasty line. Her energy is fading rapidly now. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Oh, flipping senton. That'll take the wind right out of you. Oh yeah, she's saying, let's go. Bring it. Whoa. She's calling for it. Suicide dive. Right. 
She throws her back in. Saw it coming and got out of there. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Right across the knee. Heel oh, hook locked in. This is painful. Left by the turnbuckles. Belly to belly! Launched. Shotzi able to avoid impact. DDT spiked. Things taking a turn for her now. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is trapped and in danger. Byron, she can do this just like you've done your whole career. Tap out. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising. No. Spinning heel kick. Look at that. Did here. This could be it. Happy now? See, I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash-in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order, and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst.
It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following is scheduled for one fall. Make it. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. And from Oakland, California, Shasi. The red hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so a better way to settle things than a no disqualification match. Bring on the chaos. Springboard misses the target. Fighting back by the counter. Shotzi manages to counter. Reversal on top of reversal. Ooh, stinging kick. She's able to get out of the way. Inverted atomic drop not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about the leg drop combo? Uh, Shotzi caught by the counter. She's starting to look concerned. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. The Temple's being made a target. She flips it back on her. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Sidewalk slam. Seemed to be pretty easy. Oh, merciless knee to the face. Roundhouse kick. Scorpion kick. Taking this outside. This could be good. He's got that back. And I don't think she's hitting dingers. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. The fatigue is setting in for her. Paying it right back with a reversal. Shotzi with the retaliation. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Punch to the stomach connects. Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Oh, and she turns it around. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Shotzi's number there. She's getting something from under the ring. Oh, come on. Now, why is a stop sign even under the ring? Oh! Shotzi is really falling behind. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. 
Delivered into the barricade. Face fall off the barricade. They're giving the WWE Universe a front row seat to the action. T-bone into a power slam. Ringside barriers couldn't contain this match. No telling where they'll end up now. Shotzi with a retaliation. And Shotzi stops any momentum that was building against her. Could be a sign of Shotzi turning her fortunes around. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Complete and utter chaos in this women's matchup. <laughs> Looks like set up for a suplex. Gonna finish things off. Oh, devastating impact through the table. That was a statement maneuver if I ever saw one. <laughs> Ducking out of trouble. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Shotzi able to... Oh, my God. Back over the barricade now. No rush, no refs count. And back to the ring she goes, perhaps looking to take things to a more familiar territory. One step ahead of Shotzi there. And then an atomic drop, not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about the drop combo? Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Oh, colliding with a barricade. getting a thunderous reaction from those in attendance. Uh-oh. High angle belly of back suplex. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Once she gets going with that kendo stick, this match could be over real fast. She's saying, you want it? Come and get it. She's looking very comfortable with that kendo stick. Should make anybody think twice. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Looking to capitalize. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. <sighs> that was unexpected. You defending me in the ring? Certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. 
You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. Fair point. But I didn't know you. You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kind of mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other. Which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I... do not. Well, this is not great. We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness. But both of you, save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly. Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following contest is a... After a shocking turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. I had that well scouted. Places are right in the corner. Scooped up. Snake eyes in the corner. Victor. Uh oh. She scores big with the counter. Trying their opponent's arm up. There's a double stop right down the arm. She's forced onto the defensive now. Well, we knew going into this match that it would be physical, Michael, and I'm sure she will tag out when the time is right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Kill beats her to the punch. Tag made.
Shotzi ducks, nails the discus forearm. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. They said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money in the Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. And at the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> and look how far you've come. Got the timing right this time, and the ref didn't see a thing. If you had used the chair that fast in our match, I would have been done. I still don't like it, but I see your point. Fighting dirty is necessary sometimes. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You want to face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots. I'm ready. Nah, not when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. <laughs> Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat-the-clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. I love it. I'll face Raquel. Then I'll take Shotzi. Best of luck, partner. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright. After reacquiring their stolen briefcase in a tag team match, Abel Moreno's partner is now facing Rock. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. The gory special. Is she going to tap, tap? Oh, look at this power. Incredible. Position she was in. Oh, she just turned it around. The dive. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. T-bone into a power slam. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Tap! Tap! <laughs> now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me! And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Whoa, did you see that? She's beginning to flag a little. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Rocket kick. Wow. Now she's just having her way with Raquel. Raquel's got to find her spot and take advantage. Oh, side coming. Raquel's finally able to slow all of that incoming offense. That might be what gets Rodriguez on jeopardy. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. 
Raquel. 